Hello and welcome students. Today we are working on Lab 2.2, Part 2. Uh, our prompt for this part is basically the uh, kind of the same as the Can I Be the President prompt as we did on the last part, but this time it is Can the User uh, Ride a Roller Coaster that we have? And the conditions for riding our roller coaster is that you be 18 um, or you be above uh, 50 inches in height. And then of course, we also wanna check how much it costs the user to ride and if they have the available amount of money, right? So the very first thing that I have here is I have all my test inputs um, in the prompt. It has you checking for uh, user input. And basically what that would look like is what I've put on the screen right here, where I'm saying, hey, I wanna look at you know user age is equal to input and then I prompt the user. How old are you? And then I convert that right here to an integer, right? So regardless, if you you know if you don't know what you're looking at right here, feel free to look at part one where I cover that. But for now, just to make this program and this video a lot or a lot faster, I've already set up those test inputs, right? Uh, the next thing I want to do is I want to basically start with my conditions. And the way that I did that is I wanted to start with the two most encompassing conditions. That way I could eliminate as many uh, cases as possible from this these if statements that I'm about to set up because as you'll see in a second, it does get kind of hectic, right? And the way that I decided to check that was to see if uh, the user had a pass. So here I'm going to say if user pass, which you can see I uh, quote unquote uh, ask the user for if it is equal to true then I'm going to do one thing and then this else statement is going to cover what happens if the user does not have a pass right so um, the second thing that I decided to do is check how many quarters they had um, and I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste all that I had from my code so that you can see it right and again I'm going to walk through this so I just put a lot on the screen don't worry um, here what I'm doing is I'm saying if the user has a pass, the next thing I want to check and see in this if in this else statement right here is checking if the user has enough quarters to ride, uh, I can kind of continue evaluating my conditions. If not, I go straight to my else statement with my print false saying that the user cannot ride. And again, the prompt says, hey, if the user can ride, print out true. If not, print out false, right? So here, I'm saying if the user has more than two quarters, which is the requirement if you have a pass, go ahead and check their height and their age. If not, uh, print false because we know they don't have enough money to ride. Uh, here, I am checking the requirement if the user is uh, over 18 or greater than 50 inches of height. And again, the way this is worded in the question, we're saying, hey, the user can ride if they have the money, um, but they have to be either older than 18 or they have to be taller than this height requirement, right? So that's why I'm using these two in this or statement. Uh, here I'm printing true, of course, if these conditions pass, because basically this whole tree says if the user has a pass and if they have enough money for that pass, then uh, we're checking if they're 18 or if they're taller than 50 inches, and then we're saying, hey, you can ride. And of course, if not, we print out false. Now, what happens in our second if, if statement if the user does not have a pass? Well, it turns out it's pretty much the same thing, except here I'm going to check to say if the user has more than four quarters. So here it's basically the same tree, except I'm saying if the user has more than four quarters this time, then check their height and their age. Um, but if they don't have four quarters, we're just going to go straight down to this false statement right here. And that should cover about all our use cases. And again, I'll let you get a good look at that. But basically what we're going to do, and I'm going to clear up some space so hopefully you can see all of it. We're going to go ahead and test this out. So here you can see my user's age is 17. The number of quarters we have is five. The user pass is true and the user height is 51. So based on these inputs, from the way I see it, we should be able to ride the roller coaster, right? So I'm going to click run and you can see that I am able to ride. However, let's say I was only 49 inches in height. Now, uh, I have enough quarters. I still have a user pass, so I'm all fine. Um, but this time, I am too short and I'm too young, right? So theoretically, I should not be able to ride the roller coaster. So you can see it prints out false. Now, again, just to guide you through where this is going, I'm basically starting right here. I'm saying the user pass is true. I am then checking and I'm saying I do have greater than or equal to two quarters because I've set that to five. Now here, I'm saying that one of these conditions has to be true, right? An or statement means only one of my conditions has to be true. We're checking this first one and we're saying if the user's age is greater than or equal to 18, 
uh, you can go ahead or if the user's age is greater than or equal to 50 here, my user age is not greater than or equal to 18, it's actually 17. And on my second requirement, I am not greater than 50 inches in height, I am actually uh, 49 inches and I am too short, which in that case, it will skip all this and it will go to my else statement as defaulted because these two conditions are false and I will then print false, all right? And again, you could change this. If I, if I change my user pass right here to false, I will likely get the same output and I'm gonna go ahead and click print. And you can see false and that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, thank you for tuning in. Again, I went through this kind of quickly because I already went through uh, conditions pretty in depth on part one to lab 2.2. So if you are confused at all, uh, please do watch that video in depth and I think you'll get a much better grasp of what we're doing here. Thank you all very much.